the first and most successful product from Inboard Technology, still holds its place among the best high-performance skateboards available on the market. Introduced back in 2016, the M1 was rather pricey but very fun to ride with three riding modes and a maximum speed of 22 miles per hour. It is powered by two in-wheel motors from MantaDrive and has one swappable power shift battery rated for seven miles of riding. Today, it delivers the same thrilling performance, can be controlled via the Inboard Vision app or the RLX remote, and costs just $600, down from the original $999 price tag. Unlike many old-timers in the last mile transport segment, the Stealth Longboard from Boosted aims to attract buyers not with lucrative pricing, but rather focuses on delivering exceptional build quality and durability. On the market since 2018, this electric skateboard is positioned as the company's flagship. As a result, it is also the most expensive and the fastest board offered by Boosted. The Stealth can be operated in five speed modes depending on the rider's skill level and can easily zoom at 24 miles per hour while demonstrating maximum intensity acceleration. The main downside of this boosted board is its weight, tipping the scales at 17 pounds. This is a flagship skateboard from the California company Acton that measures 39 inches in deck length and boasts a top speed of 23 miles per hour that is fairly standard for its price tag. The main feature that distinguishes this longboard from the rest is its four-wheel drive system with four hub motors delivering 2,000 watts of power. The model is also equipped with a new tension suspension that reduces hard impacts and vibration during high-speed riding. The deck of this blink is constructed using carbon fiber and aircraft-grade aluminum, but it still remains quite heavy, weighing 24 pounds. Capable of riding both in the city and in cross-country conditions, the Single Wheel XR can hardly be named a traditional skateboard. The model has unique design, blending features of a scooter, board, and unicycle, so it requires no remote control to ride. Its 750-watt brushless motor is activated when you lean to go, accelerating the XR to 19 miles per hour. This one wheel offers twice more range than the brand's pint model, traveling up to 18 miles on a charge and taking less than two hours to recharge at home.
In case you never heard of Evolve Skateboards, these are the guys who created the first in the world carbon fiber electric skateboard. The company is known for catering to the high-end market, so its new Evolve GTR series is expectedly pricey and luxurious. The model is available in two options, with either carbon fiber or bamboo and fiber glass deck. There are also two types of wheels for all-terrain and for street riding. The Evolve GTR is powered by two 3-kilowatt brushless motors, which allow it to reach the speed of 26 miles per hour and climb the hills of up to 30 degrees. While there is a fair share of all-electric skateboards on the market, the Australian Baja board is expected to eclipse all of them with the upcoming Pantera model. The board gets four 3.5 kilowatt electric motors with the combined power output of 10.7 horses, a double wishbone independent suspension, and anodized alloy wheels. It can hit 45 miles per hour speed and takes just three seconds to accelerate to 31 miles per hour. If the Pantera sounds too powerful for you, the company also offers the two-motor G4 and the four-wheel drive G4X that pack less punch but demonstrate great acceleration, hill climb, and rough terrain capabilities. The second generation Raptor board from the Australian Inertion has been making its way across the globe since 2016. But last year, the company introduced a new, improved version of the model named 2.1. The skateboard became more balanced, received a tri-zone water ingress protection, and was fitted with new motors and controller unit. As a result, it can now ride at 31 miles per hour speeds and has class-leading hill climbing capabilities, easily blasting up 30-degree inclines. We must mention that the company is so confident in the performance of the new Raptor that they even offer a 110% refund if unsatisfied with the performance. The upcoming Metro Board X is the premium electric board from the American manufacturer of the same name that is going to start arriving to customers in August 2019. To be honest, the newcomer is one of the most expensive models on the market. However, for the price of $2,500, you will get an extremely powerful dual motor longboard that comes with two types of tires, street and all-terrain so it is equally capable on the pavement and off-road. In the city, the X reaches 26 miles per hour and covers 30 miles. It also boasts an extra-long carbon fiber deck, measuring 47 inches, wireless remote, plus high-power front, rear, and underbody lighting.
When you look at the X-Way board, nearly nothing will betray the fact that it is actually electric. Dual motors are placed within the wheels, and the battery is completely naked to the eye, being integrated into the deck. The 193 watt-hour battery capacity should be good for 16 miles of riding. But if you utilize the full throttle to reach 29 miles per hour top speed, expect the range to diminish significantly. The X1 Pro lets you carve and you can expect a stable ride, since the board is equipped with 45 degree seismic trucks. Determined to differentiate the Halo board from the host of look-alike products that plague the market, the company has recently released the second generation of the model. Made with 100% carbon fiber body, the updated Halo board now weighs just 14 pounds and is more durable than its wooden competitors. It also features a pair of in-hub motors that produce 3,000 watts and allow for a top speed of 26 miles per hour. For riders' convenience, the Eastgate has a carry handle and an updated remote control that helps you manage your ride and shows the board's speed and battery life. 